hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello and welcome my name is katie and welcome to my channel i do harry potter related videos and i'm documenting my weight loss journey so feel free to check out my channel and if you like what you see then don't forget to hit that subscribe button so today obviously you can see i'm in a different location uh, i really wanted to um do this unboxing as soon as it arrived because yeah i don't want to see any spoilers and i just want to get it up and yeah so it is geek gears august box so if you'd like to see what is in this box then keep on watching so as you may know uh geek gear do hints with all their boxes for the life of me i can't remember what they are it was so long ago that they did the hints i think one i know one was related to socks i think um that's all i remember so i'll put the hints here just so you can see at home what the hints can be and if you're a, ma a magical harry potter fan uh, like myself then you can have a guess at what's going to be in this box um, and as I said I'm in living room doing this it is in the evening so Louis is in bed and I can't film in my magical location but I have some magical cushions <laughs> um, so yeah I'm gonna dive into this box this is the box it's got some weight to it this month last month I think everyone had mixed reviews on it so Let's see if Geek Gear can redeem themselves. So, what have we got? Oh, I can see a green top. Green. So it many have many green tops. So, what have we got? We have, let's go shut that box. Green. As I said, I don't have many green tops. And what is it? I'm going to have to lean back. <laughs> it's a Snape quote and no foolish wand waving. No foolish wand waving or silly incantations in this class. I don't think green's my colour, but obviously I do love this quote. And obviously I'm not the biggest fan of Snape, but uh, I like this scene in the films uh obviously philosopher's stone and yeah so yeah i don't know what to think of that t-shirt it's i think people were moaning that obviously geek gear do plain dark t-shirts and then when they come out with a bright t-shirt everyone's like whoa <laughs> but i do love it i'm gonna wear it even i don't know if i'll wear it like as a pajama top or if i wear it out but it will get one. This is what we are shown once the t-shirt is gone. We have a wand, we have a chest piece. I might go for that first. I loved last month's chest piece. That was one of my favourite items in the box. So it looks like they are going to continue doing the chest pieces in, I'm hoping it's a white one. I'll hold it upside up. Oh no, I'm not going to down. It, it threw me because that crown's upside down. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm hoping that these are all going to be the white pieces. We don't get, haven't got all the white pieces, all the black pieces. Well, I haven't because I only sub resubscribed last year. But uh, these ones seem to be much better than the black ones, in my opinion. My polystyrene. So we have, I think it's the king, and that's the back of the king, with his little shield. It's definitely made from some sort of like hard material. <laughs> uh, so here he is. And the only reason why I say it's the king is because in the Philosopher's Stone, Ron says to Harry before he sacrifices himself, uh, you'll be like you'll be free to check the king and he goes to this piece and the sword goes bing <laughs> so that's the only reason why I think I know it's the king but yeah really really cool definitely definitely 
definitely much better than the small black plasticky looking ones. These ones feel much more like realistic in my opinion and I love the paint job. The paint job makes them look like all older and stuff as well. So I'm definitely going to be displaying this one. I'm going to have a little collection of white chess pieces. So yeah, definitely keep up the good work with these chess pieces, Geek Gear. Loving these. So we have lots of lead wiggly worms because I am a Gryffindor. Oh, we have some socks. So, um... I hope the camera's going to pick it up okay. So it's got loads of different icons relating to the Wisdom world. Uh, in person, some of them are a little bit like you have to really look. But on the, my phone, it seems it seems to be okay. Right, you can see some books, potions, uh, witch's hat. They are a bit... I don't know if it's just... When you look at them like with your eyes they look a bit darker but in the light they look really you can see all the different colors and things they feel really nice and i would definitely wear them <laughs> so yeah some nice pair of socks two wearable items in this box <laughs> right i'm gonna go for the wand because it's just staring at me so here are geek gears oops uh, unique wand collection boxes. So I keep looking at my monitor just to check Louis so okay. Um, I have two in my one display in the bedroom of Geek Gear ones that I've kept. There's also one on my shelves which I've kept. So I am being a bit particular about my like unofficial ones. So I'm just going to open this up and we shall see. So. Wow, look at this wand. This is very like, to me, it's very like Aztec Egyptian vibes. Like if an Aztec tech person or an Egyptian had a wand, like a pharaoh or someone, this would be the kind of wand I think they would have. This is like, I love this shape. I love unique shaped ones. So yeah, it's like got this red, gem at the top the paint works really good these little like patterny indents this is a really nice wand and it feels really com it feels really like comfortable in the hand and yeah wow <laughs> that is a cool wand it looks really long i don't know if it's just me it looks really long i don't know if it's because of the shape it makes it look really long let me know in the comments below if you like this. I'm definitely going to keep this one, I think. Feels like it's more for like an Egyptian witch or wizard. <laughs> uh, like a pharaoh, as I said. So, and like these little indents here, your thumb goes in them. So it, it, it makes it feel really comfy like, to hold. And it has got a good weight to it. So, yeah, definitely loving this wand. So I'm going to keep this. So it's called the obelisk wand. Is that type of build is that type of like tower or building or type of you know what I mean? A length 13 and 3 quarter inches, core topaz dust, and wood is maple. I thought topaz was blue. Am I wrong? I don't know. <laughs> That's the core anyway, so you're not going to see it. But yeah, uh, so that's the wand card. I think I remember one of the hints now. I think it was a, it had magical things and there was a bag in the middle. So I think this may be a magical tote bag. And it is. So we've got a uh, cream canvas totes bag and it's got the image of the stairs in Ollivander's. I think a little while ago we got a t-shirt with this print on. Am I right? I think we have. I think it's grey. A grey t-shirt with this on. 
I think we did. I'm going to have to check my tops. I'm sure we got a grey top with that print on from a Geek Gear box. So, yeah. I am going to use this tote bag, though. It looks really cool. I might take it to the studio tour with me, which I'm going to on my birthday. So, yeah. And obviously, you've got a wand. If you could put your wand in your wand bag. <laughs> so, yeah. Really, really nice. It feels really nice as well. Really, really, like, durable. So, yeah, I might take take a few tote bags with me to the studio tour. Let's see if my luck prevails again. Do, 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 do. No flipping way. No way. This is take, taking forever. No way, I've won again. I don't know if you can see. It says 10% off your next renewal. I won again! That's two months in a row. They must have a load of scratch cards which they don't, which they don't know are winners. But Geek Gear, if you're watching this, I've won again! <laughs> so that's the second month in a row I'm gonna get a discounted box just in time for my birthday. <laughs> I'm really shocked. I haven't won on a scratch card and then I get two two winners in a row. So that's amazing. <laughs> So yeah, love that. <laughs> Keep them coming. <laughs> the pin and the print left. So I'll go for the pin quickly. And uh, let's see what this monthly pin is. So it's the Hungarian Horntail, I think. Was one of the hints related to the Tri, tri Wizard tournament? I'm gonna have to re-look through the hints, but you'll see them, you would have seen them up on screen anyway. So this is the Hungarian Horntail. Oh, he's not focusing. He's very shiny. <laughs> ah! I'll take him off the pin, the backing, because he keeps spinning around. Here he is. He's not focusing. I'll take a closer picture of him. But it's the Hungarian Horntail holding the egg. And his face, the Hungarian Horntail's face, it's really, really, I like, detailed. So, yeah. Love that. And it's like a unique shape as well. It's like the actual shape of the dragon. So, yeah, he'll definitely be going on my pin board, pin, blah, 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 my pin collection. Uh, but, yeah, I shall put up a close-up image of him so you can see all the details that they've managed to get into this lovely pin last but not least we have the pin at uh, the pin the frame which seems to be in a thicker like thicker sized frame what do we have oh i don't actually have this image or anything relating to this i don't know it's going to keep flaring glaring that is cool 427 Quidditch, Quidditch World Cup. That is very cool. But the frame's thicker. It's not the same frame as the other ones have come in. So are they doing a mixture of frames now? Or because the Lita Lestrange and Newt ones are in thinner frames and this one's in a thicker wooden frame. So I really want to put it up, but I don't know where. Maybe I'll find somewhere on my shelves to put it. I have got a shelf relating to like school activities, lessons. So maybe it can go in there. But very, very cool. And I like the fact that it's in a frame already. We have the cheat sheet. Just checking that we've got everything and we're not missing anything. The social spotlight, which is official dot caster spell so that is who this month's spotlight is so i think that must be an instagram instagram page my favorite in this box i think it's a toss-up between i'm putting my other wand down <laughs> so i think it's a toss-up between the wand and the chest piece the chest piece is really really cool I love that. As I said, it feels really, really like heavy and re realistic and not far off from the ones that are in the films. So 
definitely love that. And then as I said, the wand is definitely giving me like Egyptian Aztec vibes. So yeah, if I ever get to be a pharaoh one day, I'm going to have this as my wand. <laughs> so yeah. What did you think? Let me know in the <laughs> this one feels so big. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. For me, in, the, in my opinion, this is much better than July's box. Uh, much more like usable items. It just felt more magical this month. And I love having these unique ones in the boxes. <laughs> So yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button. It really means a lot to me and I love bringing content out for you guys to watch. So take care and I shall speak to you all soon in the next one. Don't forget, it's my birthday next month. <laughs> that's all I've got to say. So take care guys. Bye.